good evening in today's session we are going to discuss regarding cop 26 cop 26 cop stands for conference of parties because it is the 26th edition <coughs> that is the reason why this is called cop 26 and if you look at this cop 26 this is going to be held in glasgow glasgow is in scotland this conference is going to be held in glasgow this is going to be held in the month of november in the month of november 2021 this is going to be held but what exactly is the issue the issue is related to environment because of so much of pollution environmental degradation is happening maybe air maybe water reasons are many many <clears throat> and this is the global problem and every country is facing this that is the reason why if only 1 2 3 4 countries try for this and if they go for the green energy that will not be sufficient that is the reason why all the countries in the world must come together they have to create a platform they have to make an agenda and they must implement they have to take decisions and those decisions must be implemented effectively to see that environmental balance is restored this will take many many years but you need to begin begin the steps that is the reason why so whatever the gadgets we are using so that is releasing chlorofluorocarbons industrial pollution vehicle pollution what are the plastic waste we are throwing out all these are creating problems not only for human beings but even for the other living beings like animals birds marine animals everywhere there is a problem that is the reason why you know whatever the global warming we are experiencing so these are all the ill effects of you know this pollution so obviously so on one platform entire world must come together discuss together take the decisions and implement effectively in their respective countries so this is the basic one and now <clears throat> here we got a concept called green hydrogen so whenever i say green that is nothing but no the clean meaning no pollution so this new concept of green green hydrogen is going to be used but it is very expensive the process will be tedious but if it is used effectively then whatever we are expecting the restoring of environmental and ecological balance that is going to happen fine regarding that we have a discussion i'll show you the points now kindly have it look at this here on the screen now you know the answer very clearly in which of the following cities here i must add glasgow right so in which of the following cities cop 26 to be held in november 2021 and uh, kindly observe at some places it is given as going to be started from october 31st but large number of days fall in the month of november right so but whatever it is this is going to be held in november 2021 and this is going to be held in glasgow scotland so your answer should be option d kindly remember these are the most possible questions and whenever it comes to any environmental issue or any environmental summit that is happening maybe you know this uh, uh, by few few nations or large number of nations like uh, cop 26 everything is important for the examination and also observe what are all the measures that are being taken by the government of india for protecting its environment clear now let's have a look at this now if you look at the concept of green hydrogen so what exactly is this green hydrogen 
so this is one of the types otherwise you will see black hydrogen you know this blue hydrogen various types of are there i'll tell you all these things now when it comes to green hydrogen this is emerging novel concept why it is emerging why it is a novel concept because this is a zero carbon fuel very 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 important more is the carbon meaning more is the pollution more is the degradation but when i say zero carbon fuel means that is completely green that is completely clean clear so it's a zero carbon fuel that is green hydrogen this is made by electrolysis using renewable power from wind and solar to split water into hydrogen and oxygen right so there is plenty of hydrogen that is available in the you know this atmosphere and if you look at water h2o so through electrolysis you will be separating this you will be splitting it and you are making use of the hydrogen and the green hydrogen can be utilized for the generation of power from natural sources like wind or solar system and if it is done successfully this will be a major step forward in achieving the net zero emission this is what the world requires kindly remember we are discussing about a global concept not just related to india fine so will this will be achieved you know net zero emission target will be achieved presently less than 0.1% right are 75 million tons year million tons per year of hydrogen is capable of generating 284 gigawatts of power clear look at this very important one 75 million tons per year of hydrogen is capable of generating 284 gigawatt of power right now if you look at who will be working on this obviously the scientists will be working on this according to them scientists and technocrats have for years been engaged in the quest of discovering alternative fuels to fossil fuels meaning whatever the fossil fuels you have may be petroleum may be coal they are going to be exhausted very very soon too much of utilization rather too much of exploitation of these fossil fuels is forcing us to think about the alternatives and through those alternatives we got today we are using you know like this solar power right so we are trying to get you know the wind power like this we are getting and green hydrogen is going to be the another one so these fossil fuels which are responsible for the production of 830 million tons per annum of carbon dioxide so fossil fuels were over exploiting there is no doubt they are generating power for us but at the same time look at the pollution levels 830 million tons per annum of carbon dioxide right and it is obviously inducing global warming so whatever the global warming we are facing now too much of heat and too many you know this uh, rains cyclones so that are being repeatedly you know the world is getting affected all because of the too much of you know this uh, carbon in the atmosphere clear look at this the latest studies by a battery of a scientists representing 195 countries have signed a crucial issue of climate vulnerability especially for the asian countries and the 26th united nations climate change conference of the parties from november 1st to 12th is to reexamine the coordinated action plans to mitigate 
ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस एंड क्लाइमेट एडॉप्शन मेजर्स कम वॉट मे वी मस्ट मिटिगेट वी मस्ट रिड्यूज ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस एट द सेम टाइम यू प्रमोट ग्रीन एनर्जी एंड द न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज कमिंग अप इज द यू नो इट्स ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन एंड एंड दैट मस्ट बी राइट सो दैट मस्ट बी दो एक्सपेंसिव इट शुड बी यूज वेरी 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 इफेक्टिवली नेक्स्ट इफ यू गो फर्दर हाउ डू यू अचीव दिस इन ऑर्डर टू अचीव द गोल ऑफ एन एल्टरनेटिव सोर्स ऑफ एनर्जी सो दिस ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन इज गोइंग टू बी एन अदर एल्टरनेटिव गवर्नमेंट्स आर प्लेसिंग लार्ज बेट्स इन द होप ऑफ एडॉप्टिंग मल्टीफेसिएटेड प्रैक्टिकल अप्रोच टू यूज ग्रीन हाइड्रोजन वेरी 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 इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज गोइंग टू बी ए ड्राइविंग सोर्स टू पावर आवर इंडस्ट्रीज एंड लाइट अवर होम्स विथ हाउ मच एमिशन जीरो एमिशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड that is the reason why so this green hydrogen is being discussed very widely and extensively is that okay and hydrogen is the most abundant element on the planet but rarely in its pure form right so the pure form is not available it must be purified in order to use it effectively to produce the power and it has energy density almost three times that of diesel so this phenomenon makes it a rich source of energy but there is no doubt it is going to be a rich source of energy but challenges are there what is the challenge challenge is to compress or liquefy liquid hydrogen for this reason it should be kept at a stable minus 253 degrees centigrade very 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 important one if you are looking at lng liquefied natural gas you are maintaining at 163 degrees centigrade so much beyond that one you require 253 degrees centigrade right minus 253 degrees centigrade to keep this at stable right and this minus 253 degree centigrade when compared to lng so this is very very high so it is not that easy you need to work on this one look at this please remember these points lng is maintained at stable minus 163 degree centigrade but when it comes to liquid hydrogen it has to be maintained at stable minus 253 degrees centigrade very 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 important and the production technique of this energy carrier it vary depending on its applications it is designated with different colors like black hydrogen brown hydrogen blue hydrogen and green hydrogen what do you need we need green hydrogen very 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 important right black hydrogen is produced by the use of fossil fuel please remember pink hydrogen is produced through electrolysis but using energy from nuclear power sources so kindly remember every time the topics that are related to energy the topics that are related to environment they are very 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 important for the examination so definitely in any fourth coming examination they will ask you what is green hydrogen all right it may also be a question in the main examination of civil services or main examination of group 1 examination under any state so please remember these points write the figures very clearly where i said minus you know this uh, centigrade uh, degrees like this so right uh, at what temperature so this lng is maintained at what temperature so this um, 
liquid liquid hydrogen has to be maintained these figures you must write very correctly clear so then only you will be getting the marks writing wrong figures will be reducing the marks thank you so much and i'll see you in the next class